test out the old uh, left-hand blade Bosch saw against the new GKS 18 volt 22. See how much difference brushless motors make. They both have 24 tooth blades and we're going through a treated 6x6. Definitely push that new one a lot harder. And I really like that all that weight isn't hanging off of the right side of the tool, so you get a much narrower shoe and it's a lot more stable. Let's try a rip cut, you saw, so we'll see if this one will even make it the whole way. We're just going to stop at the clamp. I think that's enough. Let's finish it with the other saw. Let's finish that off. Let's see if this one struggles like that old one. See, I was pushing it. We did have some cutouts, but it didn't lose blade speed like this old saw. This one can barely maintain, you know, 2,500, 3,000 RPM. This one's 5,000 max. But keeps it from overheating. Let's try it with the dust collection. Different. You can see there's still a little bit of dust on the outside of the saw, but it caught all that dust that was blown out of the port. The nice thing is you have that swivel port. You can swivel it all the way down, which is probably what I should have done. So it blows on your shoes instead of on your pants. Or you can swivel it to the side. I don't know why you would want it up. But yeah, we'll go over some of the other features in this thing. I just thought I'd go over a little overview of this new saw. It's the Bosch GKS 18V 22L left hand blade. They have a right hand blade also. This replaced the old um, GKS 18V uh, LI. This saw is like 13, 14 years old. Brush motor, definitely needed an upgrade. Very few features that we're used to nowadays. That's not the case with this new saw. Um, first thing you can see, it's a brushless motor. Turn it around here. So much smaller profile. I really appreciate that. That allows you to have a narrower shoe and it's still very stable. Um, one of the most apparent things is you have a swiveling dust port and you can connect it to any shop vac. Um, on the blade guard here, you actually have measurements or increments for whatever material you're working on. I'm not sure how useful that would be. I'll have to try that out. And on the shoe, 
you have some nice high contrast black and white measurements here. And then for the swivel, this was a super nice feature. You actually have some detents at 22 and a half, 45, and then it goes all the way to 50. They didn't really advertise that, so that was a nice surprise. You can see that's a big contrast with the old one. It was just painted silver and you couldn't make anything out really. It was even hard to see the angles. Uh, the depth adjustment is super smooth. That's how you want it. I don't know if I bent the old one or something, but it has never been smooth. You have to force it down. Kind of annoying. It comes with a spring-loaded nut or bolt for a rip guide. For whatever reason, they didn't include that in the kit, but I've seen that in other countries it comes with a nice heavy-duty rip guide. You also have the option for a rafter hook, which hasn't hit the U.S. market yet. Um, from what I've seen, it's going to fit the left blade, right blade version of this and the left and right blade version of the strong arm which is the seven and a quarter saw and it's a multi-position rafter hook which you're not used to seeing on just a traditional circular saw sometimes you see that on like metal cutting saws uh, super comfortable grip ambidextrous blade lock or tool lock and they changed the layout of the handle a good bit you push down more now which is what most people are used to, and then the battery sticks up. One thing I noticed that was kind of good, uh, they actually hid the blade wrench here behind where the battery is, which forces you to take the battery out when you change the blade. So they're really thinking about safety there. Uh, the build quality is super nice. And check out my other videos. You can see it really has a lot of power. Uh, and a nice fast blade break. have to do some testing with the larger 8 amp hour battery Let's see if that helps the power even more yeah, that's my first impressions on it I've, I've cut a few things huge upgrade um, much lighter than the old one I think it's like three quarters of a pound lighter without the battery and then you're typically gonna run these 4.0 core batteries on here anyway so that gives you some weight savings. Um, it's about what you want for a trim saw. So, yeah, check it out if you can find it in your area.